Trump's shocking note about what he's about to do to Kim Jong-un accidentally caught in photo op. Although Trump is notoriously outspoken, his most serious plans have been kept under wraps on this issue until it accidentally got out when a camera caught the shocking note on his desk written in all caps with a big black marker. This definitely indicates the end of our nemesis in North Korea. After months of threats and tests, North Korea's despot dictator, Kim Jong-un, flexed his muscles and launched an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, this week, then followed it up with an announcement that he wasn't done. Hours after the launch, it was revealed that the little rocket man is actually capable of hitting the Washington, D.C., and much of the East Coast as proven by the outcome of this latest missile test. There's nothing he would love more than to what he's been working up to for years, regardless of the ramifications which he's about to experience with the full wrath of President Donald Trump who isn't messing around. Kim Jong has taken the taunting too far and messed with the wrong leader who isn't dancing around this dictator like Barack Obama would have. Not since the Cuban Missile Crisis of the early 60s, when John F. Kennedy was president and we were in the middle of the Cold War with the Soviet Union, have we been so close total global annihilation. U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis in a statement earlier today confirmed that the fetus-looking dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong-un has now fired its highest ever intercontinental ballistic missile and it poses a dire worldwide threat. Later the Pentagon confirmed that the missile had flown for about 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, before falling into the Sea of Japan. Trump was quick to address the issue to reporters in the Roosevelt Room of the White House a few hours after the missile streaked across Korean and Japanese skies when a photographer unintentionally caught what he's been keeping secret. The Daily Mail reports. President Donald Trump had handwritten notes in black marker and all capital letters in front of him on Tuesday when he revealed news of North Korea's latest missile launch. The piece of paper was spotted on the table in front of Trump as he addressed reporters in the Roosevelt Room of the White House a few hours after the missile streaked across Korean and Japanese skies. Missile was launched from North Korea, we'll take care of it, the note read. Not straying far from his notes, Trump then told reporters, a missile was launched a little while ago from North Korea. I will only tell you that we will take care of it. It is a situation that we will handle. These are never words we would have heard from Trump's predecessor on the matter since he had eight years of missile tests from North Korea to do something about it and didn't. That exceptionally lame duck style leadership is long over and things are about to get really serious since Trump will not allow this silly little dictator to make a fool of him or America. After yesterday's missile launch from North Korea the stakes couldn't be higher, especially now that tensions are growing over new information that the missile was the largest and the most powerful to date. According to a CNBC report, the latest missile has the capability of hitting the eastern seaboard including Washington, D.C. and needs to be taken seriously. President Trump didn't mince word during his speech on Tuesday where he had just spoken with General Mattis and that they were going to handle the situation in North Korea. Nobody can blame Trump for taking action now as he has exhausted all efforts to steer North Korea away from its nuclear ambitions by applying the strictest possible sanctions against Kim Jong-un's evil empire. He has also had China and Russia apply pressure as well, but Kim Jong-un continues unfazed. The only thing that has changed in North Korea is that their people are suffering. With no electricity and very little food, the North Korean people can only hope that something changes soon. According to President Trump, the time for restraint seems to be over, and this isn't a president that messes around. As Syria saw earlier this year when Trump rained cruise missiles down on an airstrip where chemical weapons were launched from. The world is watching, we all know for certain Trump won't stand by and hope Kim Jong-un doesn't launch a nuclear warhead, as Obama and other leaders have done in the past. As President Trump finished his speech yesterday with a smile on his face and General Mattis at his side, it was as if he had just said, hold my beer, hold my beer.